Okay, would you be buying the Chinese tech names right now? I think it's still too early to do so. Uh, you know, these names suffer from, first of all, um, the, the political headwind. Uh, with that perhaps a bit behind us, uh, there is the, the valuation concern in that um, their, their underlying fundamentals uh, are looking weak in this, uh, in this market where consumers have been struggling uh, globally. And so, you know, I think uh, you got one, one headwind result, but you still got the fundamental. Uh, that, I think, is still too early to call. Jason, you're down on the Chinese tech stocks, and it's understandable because there's a raft of things that could happen between here and now. But interestingly, you're relatively bullish when it does come to the blue chip SOEs, and most people don't want to go near the SOEs right now. Can you just explain why that is? Well, it's much more of a, a contrarian psychology here. Uh, most people don't want it, and, and therefore, there, there lies the opportunity. If you think about it, um, this year and probably for much of next year for China, uh, it is going to be much more of a politically driven market than it is a, a sort of you know recovery in in the underlying you know uh, consumer fundamentals. And so, if you think about policies, uh, policy is going to favor the state owned. Right? These are the favorite sons of the state. Whatever state subsidy, state stimulus program are going to be channeled through the state owned. And so, anything that's Beijing connected, uh, anything that employs a lot of people, uh, will be that instrument. And you know, he who is closest to stimulus. I tend to do well in a stimulus-driven economy. Yeah, and that's the important part because we just got that fresh raft of stimulus coming through on Friday. But do you think it, it's going to be enough? Because we've seen these incremental moves on the LPR. We've seen the extra trillion yuan that they threw in on Friday those, those, via those 19 methods. But in terms of realistically, obviously they're trying to suggest they don't want to overstimulate. But considering the sluggish growth, considering all of the mitigating factors, are they going to have to get a lot more aggressive than even what they're flagging now? And is that potentially going to come following on from November, let's say? Absolutely. Uh, we're just seeing the beginning uh, of the stimulus package. Uh, in fact, I'm surprised that they have decided to act so early. I mean, suggesting that, that numbers are looking particularly weak and then starting to erode confidence. Because generally, it's after the party congress where all the new leadership have been appointed that the real stimulus, like the, the, the real programs, begin to be put into place. So I think there's much, much more to come uh, after the party congress and really, uh, you know, for, for, for next year.